Accused in a plot to attack the U.S. Capitol will not be getting out of jail anytime soon. Christopher Cornell is being held without bond, and he could face more charges. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us from the federal courthouse downtown with what's ahead now for Cornell. Anjanette. Well, Rob, that court appearance for Christopher Cornell was brief today, and his parents were emotional in the courtroom even before the judge ordered their son held without bond. As U.S. Marshals led Christopher Cornell into court, his father yelled, don't trust anyone, and his brother said, we love you, Chris. Cornell's mother sobbed, and the Marshals told the family they would be removed from the courtroom if they tried to speak to him again. Cornell's father apologized. Judge Stephanie Bowman ordered Cornell held without bond. Assistant U.S. Attorney Timothy Mangan said the day Cornell bought two AR-15s and 600 rounds of ammunition, he'd packed his bags, collected money, and made travel arrangements to carry out the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Mangan said Cornell left a cryptic letter for his family telling them not to look for him. Former Secret Service agent and attorney Kevin Tierney did not find the judge's decision surprising. There was a presumption under the law that he would be detained, and based on the facts in this case, it was really kind of a foregone conclusion. Cornell's attorney said he was not a flight risk and wanted him released to his parents. Karen Severe said Cornell wants to be called by his Muslim name, Raheel Maris Ubeda. It, it is unusual that he would have that sort of uh, fortitude in court to um, you know, be making demands about how he's addressed. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see the issue of competency raised in the near future. Cornell's parents believe he was set up by the FBI. They left the courthouse without commenting as they prepare for a lengthy court battle. So I'm sure they set a date for a preliminary hearing, but I would expect before that preliminary hearing takes place that the government will seek and obtain an indictment. And he could be indicted either on the same charges that he currently has pending or there could be additional or different charges. And it's not clear tonight whether the government will add terrorism charges against Christopher Cornell. Attorney Kevin Tierney said that could possibly complicate the case against Cornell because the defense attorneys would have to have some security clearances to be made aware of that information so they could defend their client. Meanwhile, tonight, the U.S. Marshals Service tells me that they have asked the Butler County Jail to accommodate a request from Christopher Cornell's attorney that he be provided with a prayer mat and a clock so he can pray five times a day in accordance with his Muslim faith. Reporting live from the federal courthouse, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob? Anjanette, thanks very much. Cornell will face a judge again on Thursday. Stay with Local 12 as this story continues to unfold. We'll have any updates on Twitter and Facebook and Local12.com.